Whether you want to add one or multiple images into your Photoshop projects, there are four easy ways to do just that as you'll learn here. Just make sure to stick around till the end of the video for a couple helpful preference settings you can change to save some time and ensure your images do not lose quality. Now the first option for opening an image into Photoshop is going to be the most helpful when you want your new document or your new project that you create to match that of the specs of the image you're trying to open. So from the Photoshop start screen to do that, we can either press on the open button here, or we can go to file open. By doing this, this will open up the files on our computer where we can go and select an image that we would like to open. So for example, I could click this photo here and now click on open to bring that image into Photoshop as a new project and the project dimensions and resolution and all the other specs related to this document will match that of the image that we just opened. So this is helpful when you want to edit one specific photo, but not as helpful if you're trying to create like a design or something like that in Photoshop and that's where the other options we're about to discuss are gonna become more useful for you. Now for our second option, if you wanna add an image into a new document that you have created by going to File New, in this case, I just have a white document that I wanna add a photo to, the easiest way to do that really quickly without messing around with any additional panels on your computer is just going up to File and then down here to Place Embedded. Clicking on this will allow you to navigate to a individual file on your computer. Once again, I can click the same photo as before in this case, and I'll choose place. This will add that image into your project like so, and you can now scale it up or down using the move tool to resize it to your canvas as desired like so. Once you're happy with that adjustment, you can press the check mark to save those changes. Now for the third option, and this is my preferred method of doing things, is if you just want to not mess around with any of these panels up here, and you just wanna drag and drop things from your computer, you can do that as well. So locating the files on your computer in a separate window from Photoshop, you can click on the desired file you would like to import into your document and you can simply click and drag and drop it onto your canvas like so, and that will place that document here like this. This is my preferred method of doing things, especially when it comes to adding multiple images as we're about to talk about in a moment. Now really quickly, before we get into the fourth and final option, if you're gonna use the techniques you learned so far here, make sure to hit that like button down below to let me know. For the fourth and final option of adding multiple images, images at once, we are gonna be using a drag and drop method like before, but before we get to that, we actually want to go into our preference settings and ensure that we have a few things enabled to make this process a bit easier and ensure that our layers do not lose quality if we choose to scale them. So to access those preferences, we'll go up to Photoshop and then down here to settings and then general if you're on a Mac, but then if you're on a PC computer, just go to edit and then I believe it's down to preferences, should be something like that. Either way, Way, just go to the general panel here, and then we want to enable a couple settings in this area. The first is to choose skip transform when placing. This will allow you to just place your image directly onto your canvas as you saw me do previously without having to press any check mark to confirm your changes. The next thing we want to enable is this setting right here, always create smart objects when placing. By making sure this is checked, this will make sure that all the images you bring into your new document by dragging and dropping them or placing them embedded, for example, will make them a smart object so you can scale them up or down and they will not lose quality, unlike non-smart object layers called raster layers. So with this complete, I'll press OK, and now let's go and drag and drop multiple photos. So going once again to our files on our computer, I can hold Command or Control and click between all the files that I would like to bring into my document. With all of those highlighted, I'll click and drag over and let go to place all of those images onto my canvas. Because we have the skip transform controls when placing, all of these images were placed immediately without me having to confirm any changes. And if we look at our layers, we can see that all of them are smart objects indicated by this icon right here. So that means when I grab my move tool, for example, I could now scale this layer up or down without the worry of losing quality as I resize this layer. So making sure that those two preference settings are enabled will not only save you a bit of time in the process, but also ensure that all of your images keep their quality as you work through your projects. Once all your images are imported, if you still feel overwhelmed by all these settings inside of Photoshop, I think you'll love what's inside my course, 21 Day Photoshop Expert, which lays out a step-by-step -step system to learning the most important tools and techniques to make Photoshop feel easy. I'll leave a link for that down below 
below if you're interested. But anyways, my name is Brendan from bewillcreative.com and I'll catch you back here next time.